It is April 14th and I've checked the weather and this looks like a good time to transplant the peppers and the tomatoes and the basil. Here are the tomatoes. I use this little guideline to help me remember dates. And right here, April 15th, check weather, transplant tomatoes, peppers, and basil. This is a month weather forecast. I don't see any freezes. So that's a good sign that I can transplant. These larger beds are three feet by seven feet. And on the edge of the beds, I have little notches every 12 inches. And I use a putty knife and create a square foot grid and I arrange the plants. Peppers are one per square foot and I water right before transplanting so they'll slide out of the containers easily. Here's the corn, more peppers, and these two in the back are tomatoes. I placed small tomato cages over the pepper plants. Took about two hours. Finally finished planting in the peppers and tomatoes and also the corn. I'll wait a week or two before caging the tomatoes just in case a frost comes because I can easily drape plastic over this when the tomato cages aren't there. Planting four pepper plants in between the beets. Up next will be cucumbers, beans, and zucchini. Here is the hex bed. Got yellow pear tomato, Marconi pepper, basil, and kohlrabi, and some kale. And up here in front of the garage, these are all tomatoes. Got three Roma tomatoes and two of these tomatoes called Horizon, which are just like big, regular tomatoes. I guess kind of like brandywine looking things. And I washed, dried, and stacked the containers for next year. And I do have a few extra leftover plants that I'll keep ready just in case something happens to those other plants. I'll have a fill-in. There's some peppers and some kale. It is warm enough to transplant this fig clone. All the other fig trees are starting to leaf out in the springtime. It's been an exceptionally warm spring. So hopefully I'll have a bumper crop of figs. Now I'm going to transplant this grapevine seedless green grapes. With the grapevine, I tie a string up to the middle cord of the grapevine trellis and it'll, that's how it'll reach up into the air. I also added a little piece of fencing to prevent the deer from completely munching the plant while it's low to the ground. <laughs> 